Hi, my friends. Welcome back to the Sussex Daily News Channel version 2. This morning, we're very happy to give you a piece of breaking news from a trusted source. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's crisis in Los Angeles begins. Prince Harry is feeling tormented by his fractured family ties, while Meghan Markle is struggling to cope and feeling extremely low amid new life in Los Angeles. Harry and Meghan are currently living in Tyler Perry's $18 million mansions, with their son Archie have officially stepped back from royal duty at the end of March. But speaking to the Sunday Mirror, an insider said the royal couple is facing extreme tension with their new life, revealing, Meghan has gone very quiet. I think she is likely to be feeling extremely low and probably struggling. They add that Prince Harry felt particularly down on William's birthday on June 21st. Meghan and Harry spectacularly announced they were stepping down from their role as senior royals in January and officially finished their duties in March. The source explained that Meghan had become more distant and introverted in the last few weeks, leaving her family worried. Prince Harry must be tormented by his fractured family lies. The source added, they are also stressed by because the mega millions they plan on earning as a power couple came to a grinding halt because of COVID. Post-pandemic world is very different. Few takers willing to shell out mega bucks for a virtue signaling word salad for a pair of hustlers with no discernible talent. It comes as news emerged that the couple has officially shut down their Sussex Royal Charity. Reports suggested yesterday that Prince Harry and Meghan have filed official paperwork with Companies House to dissolve the Royal Foundation. They moved to disband their charitable organization follows the Queen's decision that Harry and Meghan can no longer use the word royal in their branding. However, this source also blames them, added, One look at the lawsuit is enough. They must be unhappy otherwise there would be no need to put such grievances on public display again. Megan already said how she felt in the Bradby interview. Dragging the royal family into it is just awful. One can only imagine the pressure Harry felt. No wonder he always looks unhappy. And it won't be better now. Megan craves attention and wants to be loved but never adjusted her behavior. She's almost like a stubborn child. She always comes across as contrived and is not authentic. She over-the-top gestures for the graduation speech just shows she can't help herself. She wants to be domineering public and private, intellectually superior to Harry. I can only imagine that he's slowly withering away. And a new nanny? The fourth now? She just cements her image as being difficult. But an anonymous expert claims, I can understand Harry struggling in Los Angeles, but what's making this problem? She's arrived there where she's wanted to be. It is perhaps she's struggling because the whole of Tinseltown isn't b battering the door down with offers of work like she was expecting and she's starting to realize she's just another 38-year-old fading ex-actress and that even the title isn't going to make any difference. Our expert added, what Megan is struggling with is the lack of money and fund her Hollywood lifestyle. Harry doesn't have anywhere enough money to keep her in the lifestyle she so desperately wants. They will continue to couch surf until the money starts rolling on from her minor Hollywood roles. She is deluded to think she will be earning big money. Everyone is turning on her for a reason. It's the poor kid I feel sorry for. I think that that's kind of what happens when they ditch their brother and sister-in-law to pick up their slack. Harry, write a tell-all book which slates your family, heavily edited by your wife, and move halfway across the world because you want to court the U.S. celebrities instead of being a welcome addition to the royal family. Oh, and don't forget about suing the press, which in turn leaked Meghan's complaints about not being supported enough, even though she's living on the Duchy of Cornwall's money and retains her royal title. The truth is, she was welcomed and supported by the royals and the majority of Brits. She just threw it back in our faces with her diva behavior, then said she was the wrong party. They brought all of this on themselves. When the inevitable divorce happens, Harry is going to find himself stranded in the U.S. because of Archie with all his family back in the U.K. He really has created a huge mess for himself, all because he wanted to save Meghan from the press because he thought she was Diana 2.0. He's an idiot and it cost him everything. Meanwhile, discussing the news, 
Many fans also slammed them for their lifestyle at Los Angeles. One said, Oh my gosh, poor victims. They're living in a multi-million dollar mansion, free of charge, exactly where they chose to live. They're being bankrolled by the man-child's daddy, probably getting more money per day than most of us can earn in a year. They've destroyed every family and friend relationship they ever had. They constantly stand behind lecterns, telling everyone what to do and what not to do, but which, which they can do themselves because they think they're akin to the second coming. This horrible, toxic couple needs to do some serious self-reflection, preferably without their silly new gimmick of crossing their hands across their chest. But a fan replied to them, This does not surprise me with someone like Meghan Markle. She has an issue, in my opinion, that needs feeding all the time, attention-seeking, because of lockdown that has been limited, so she has probably, for the first time, had to deal with her own demons. She should see a counselor, realize that life isn't always about her, and she may find happiness. Harry, I'm afraid, you should have realized this before marrying. Or at least married someone who was willing to meet you halfway. But I'm afraid you have given up on your own family and caused much heartache to the royal family and insulted your country by continually telling us we were cruel to Meghan. Actually, Meghan Markle has been cruel to the people of this country that we were so excited you had found love. Meanwhile, the next fan wrote, Harry's emotional wreckage, and he is mentally challenged. She is a woman whose ambition knows no limits, and will stop at nothing to get where she thinks she will get. They both made mistakes, and they should now live with that. They have offended the queen and the royal family, the people, and friends. He has abandoned his so-called army mates and offended them too. If they are struggling to cope, it's of their own doing. Tough. Deal with it. Shut up moaning and grow up. Ridiculous couple. However, a comment slammed them, still playing the victim card for all it's worth. First is was a family source that says Megan has gone quiet, but that changed to a source when she realized the only family member she still speaks to is her mother, so couldn't put her in the frame for a press leak. People are dying, losing their jobs and homes, facing tragedy. They are stressed and need support. A life of supreme privilege, staying in multi-million pound properties with a four million a year allowance from Prince Charles is hardly a hardship. And Mott, her family is worried? What family? The family she didn't have or the family she didn't invite to her wedding? Save the sob stories, Markle. It won't work. You had it all, but your bullying ego and arrogance got in the way. You threw everything back in our faces. Thinking we were all stupid and you can take what you wanted before running off to try and get your own way elsewhere. We never want to see you again. Don't think you can worm your way back to scrounge off us by simpering about your mental health now. That's not going how you thought it would. Are no producers beating your borrowed front door down? No filmmakers begging for you to star in the latest superhero film? Don't waste your dubious talents in trying to take us for a ride again. You're a disgrace and persona non grata the world over. The fame you wanted at last, but not how you imagined. Another fan added, Harry should feel upset by his fractured family ties. His family, especially Charles and Granny, went out of their way to welcome Meg to the firm, and she is thanking them by spewing horrid things about the royals to any who will listen. What kind of self-respecting man unleashes that kind of venomous snake on his own flesh and blood? who was always loving and supportive no matter how many times he messed up as a young fellow? He ought to be ashamed of himself. Hang your head in mortification. Woke couch shipper. I think they're a vile couple and don't care if they're finding it hard, but will put my two pennies worth in. She is struggling because the virus has put pay to her plans for serious money making and she's worried she's missed the boat. She has severed any chance of any reconciliation with them all with these court papers. He has a fractured family because he fractured it. I bet he's looking at what he has given up. Non-earned adulation from the psychophants and able to speak at events and view it as an expert. Like they all are. They've gone. Now let's get rid of the rest. They reap what they sow. Harry, before he met her, was a loving brother, brother-in-law, grandson, and son. No matter what Megan does or thinks there is only one person who he can really share memories of his mom with, and that's William. He's the only one he can say to, do you remember when we did this with our mom? 
Plus, I think the only chance for Megan to redeem herself is to reach rock bottom, then take a long, hard look back at her life. Her dad gave her everything she wanted to get ahead, then she did not want him. Her uncle also gave her a chance, then she did not want him. The queen gave her a chance. Maybe she started out by working on how to be a successful wife and mother and move on from there. And you, do you agree with me? Please let me know in the comments section below and we'll discuss it together. Remember to like and share my video for anyone you want. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any new videos by me. Now, have a nice day and see you in the next videos. Bye.